what's going on you guys so this weekend what I got for you is a little bit of everything so we're gonna pretty much go through all the tents give you guys a quick update of all the plants and all that good stuff and of course by the title you guys already know what's going on we're gonna do a quick unboxing of that light there so we got that light that we talked about last week uh, I wanted to do a video earlier on this week and do just a separate unboxing of the light but unfortunately I wasn't able to do that so we're gonna go ahead and just cram it all into one video this week for this weekend's video so I'm gonna give you guys an update on the plants we're gonna unbox the light but I think first what we're gonna go ahead and do is give you guys an update on the plants real quick and I think we're, what we're gonna go ahead and do is start it off with the photo period plants this time instead of the auto flowers we'll start it off with the photos this time see how they're doing so in this tent here it's day 27 of flower you know I'm trying to get the light out of my way here so I can get a better shot for you guys So in this tent here, we have three auto flower, or three, I'm sorry, three photo periods. I'm used to starting off with auto flowers. We have three photo period plants. It is day 27 of flower. All these plants are looking good. All in three gallon pots. Looking good. We got three different strains going in here. We got the strawberry clare in the back corner back there. We got the amnesia in the other back corner. And then in the front here, we got our Delicious here looking good looking shiny still looking really really shiny still but uh, still looking good flowering away really happy looking plant I mean no complaints going on really other than the fact that she just really shiny compared to the rest of the plants I mean she's just but uh, looking good nonetheless anyways that amnesia here in the back definitely stretching up almost coming pretty close to that light there it needs to kind of calm herself down I think I'm gonna have to rotate that plant just a little bit and put that coal in the back corner there a little bit away from the light so that she doesn't get too far too close to that light but I think they're pretty much done with their stretch so I think this is about as big as they're gonna get so they're pretty much just now gonna start fattening up make it a little bit taller maybe maybe not we'll see how that goes I'm thinking the delicious here in the front I think this is all that we're gonna see out of her this is pretty much how she's been her entire life I mean even through veg she just pretty much was a small plant and this is how she's gonna be very very small plant but like I said all these plants are three gallon pots I wanted to keep them small under this light I have them under the Viper Spectra XS 1500 if you guys are interested in this light I will leave links down below this is 150 watts from the wall has a mean well driver this is an awesome light really really cool light uh fully dimmable i have mine at about 100 percent right now and it about oh uh, plants are stretching up so about 18 inches from the plants right now i will be lowering it down a little bit more here as the plants get a little bit further in the flower uh, but right now it's a little bit early in the flower so so keeping the light just a little bit high for now but 100 percent like i said got it cranked up plants are looking good they're happy they're loving everything that's going on right now PM issues going on with all the plants it's under control I'm happy to report on that now in this tent here it is crowded so it's day 22 of flower for these three photo period plants here day 22 of flower for these three here this plant here in the front we'll talk about this one here in just a second some of you guys are probably like well where did that plant come from we'll talk about that one here in a second Day 22 of flower, so all these plants, like I said, doing great. We got three blue kings here in the back corner. We got gigabud here and velvet octane here in the front. Like I said, PM issues are all, seems to be under control for now. Hopefully I can keep it under control for the remainder of this grow. And then what I'll go ahead and just do is harvest the plants, go ahead and do a full cleanup, and hopefully that's the last that we will ever see of the PM issues hopefully but I know that PM is very very difficult to get rid of and very very difficult to get under control if it's not controlled quickly um, hopefully I got it in time so fingers crossed but anyways all the plants in here doing very very good under the Mars Hydro FC 3000 if you guys are interested in this grow light I will leave links down below now as you guys can see I did put some chains up here so I did raise the light up now I did crank it up to about 75 percent been cranking this up slowly but surely but I'm also I did raise it up too uh, like I wanted to because the plants were stretching up quite a bit but um, also I didn't I'm not cranking it up just yet because I do have this other plant in here now this other plant in here hasn't reached hasn't gone into flower yet and what is this other plant this is the OG Kush. This is our OG Kush from the auto flower tent over there. So what day, 
what day is it for this it's day 53 for this plant here so I had to check my notes over there day 53 for this plant here day 53 for the rest of the autumn flowers over there I had to move it in here a lot of you guys are probably like why'd you put the auto flower in here why isn't it with the other ones I had to move it in here it was not flowering the plant was looking very very sad once again I well, I had high hopes for the plants uh, for the plant I, I hoped that it was gonna flower I kept it inside the tent with the other ones and it looked like she was gonna flower she it looked like she had figured things out but then all of a sudden she just stopped and she got really droopy again and she looked really sad and unhappy so I'm like you know what I need to induce flower and I need to put her under 12-12 cycle, so which is what I've done. So yes, this is an auto flower under 12-12 cycle now. So now, as you guys can see, she is just perky all over the place. Now she's been under 12-12 for about three days now, and she is just all kinds of perky right now, all kinds of green going on. She is really, really happy and just vibrant. So this plant here looking good. So she will stay in here and she will finish in here. I will treat her like a photo period plant because that is what she is acting like. So that's what we're going to do. But still an auto flower. Now, when I did top dress all these plants, I did top dress every single one of them. I did not wait on any of the plants. And we will talk about that one over there. I did not wait to top dress any of the plants. I top dressed them all the same. Just like I told you guys I was going to do. Uh, if you guys missed the top dressing video, that was uh, last week's video. But I did top dress everything exactly the way that I said I was going to. I didn't hold off including this one here so I'm hoping that the that the added bloom for this plant here is gonna help her kick it off in the flower so I did give her the exact ratio that I gave the other auto flowers over here I was gonna give her more veg and just let her kind of because she's gonna kind of veg out for a little while before she kind of kicks it off in the flower and figures things out but I decided not to hoping that the extra bloom is going to help her go hopefully it will but anyways she seems very very happy in here very very happy that's the og kush like i said looking good day 53 looking good so the rest of the auto flowers here now we only have four in this four by four tent now so we only have four unfortunately but we have much more room in here so anyways the other plant that i was talking about here is this plant here this is a chocolate mint og and like I said, I was going to hold off on feeding this plant as well, but I did top dress this plant. I did. I went ahead and just top dressed her. Okay, now, it, she does look like she's overfed. She's got, looks like she's nutrient burnt like crazy. Um, really odd. I mean, she, she stretched up all over the place. I mean, she went crazy here. I just went ahead and fed her. Even if she is overfed, regardless, I just fed her. It doesn't matter. I want to see what happens. I want to see what's happening with her. Um, maybe it's just um, it's just the way that she is. I don't know. Maybe she's lacking something. I'm not sure. So I went ahead and I fed her on schedule. Day 53 for the rest of these. So what else do we have in here? We got the gorilla skittles here in the back. We got the amnesia there in the back corner. We got the bubble kush here in the front. This one here, like I said, chocolate mint OG all day 53. Like I said, PM all under control. Seems good, looks good, everything looks good, everything looks great. All the plants flowering away, looking really, really good. No actual trichome action going on in this tent here, nothing really to really to report. All the plants still kind of just kicking it off in the flower. But these other tents though, starting to see some trichomes going on the three blue kings back here in the back corner. Now this tent here, this other 3x3 tent here, is a different story. Now this one is a little bit further along, like I said, but definitely much more trichomes going on on these plants here. These ones definitely looking really, really good. No real smells coming off any of these tents just yet, but that'll be coming soon. But the lights that I have in this, in this tent here is the Mars Hydro SP250. Now I don't have any links for it. But I do have one of them running right now. Normally I have two of them in here. This is the Mars Hydro SP250. And I also have the Mars Hydro TS1000 in here. I got it fully cranked up. And it's over the plants right now. So, like I said, why not? That's what I did. I do have a link for that down below. If you guys want to go check that out. That's a cool little light. We did do a full grow with that light. Auto flower grow inside of a 3x3 tent. It's only 150 watt light. We did a full grow with that light. And... It was great. It was great. 
despite everything that happened during that during that entire grow, it was great. That light produced some great, great flowers. It was it was really really good. But anyways, if you guys missed that video, you guys can go back and check that video out. It's somewhere back there. The TS one thousand, that auto flower grow that we did in the three by three tent, that was good results just for a hundred fifty watt light. But anyways, I think that's it. I think that's all we needed to talk about for these plants here. All these plants here. All the plants doing good. Like I said, day 53 for these ones. All of them doing good. Just chilling. Looking good. No PM issues, like I said. But anyways, let's get on to the unboxing. Let's get into this light. Now, this light that we are going to be getting into right now here. Let me just move it off back to where I need it. So this light here that we are going to be getting into is going to be our newest light for the 4x4 tent. Now we are going to be putting this light in the 4x4 tent once this grow is complete. So we're not going to be doing that right now. Normally I would just switch out the lights, but we're not going to be doing that right now. Okay, I'm going to be waiting until everything is complete so I can make sure that I clean everything thoroughly before introducing anything else into this. That I, Just another surface that I would have to wipe down in order to try to prevent PM issues from coming back so once this grows complete i'm going to take everything down and we have a brand new light that's going to go in here and i'd rather not clean it i'd rather clean everything else in here you know what i'm saying so we are going to be putting this light in here after that grow is complete we don't have too much time to go but we're going to go ahead and get the unboxing done and over with today and i will leave links down below if you guys are interested in this light now we're just going to do a quick unboxing of this light now this is a qb2000 this is from osri i think i'm saying that right this is from amazon and they sent this light over to me and they asked me if they could send me this light and they can put this light in my if i could put this light in my 4x4 tent do a full grow for them i said you know what absolutely i could test this light out see how she works um you know i looked over the light on amazon myself and checked it all out uh, they sent me the specs of the light. I said, great. You know, I said, absolutely. And you know what? This is an awesome little light, you guys. This is really, really cool. And right now, if you guys follow the links down below, there's actually a little coupon code going down there right now for, I believe it's, oh, geez, don't even hold me to this, 15% off or $15 off. I can't even remember now. Um, but you can go down there and you can get you one for a little bit cheaper. Oh, and you know what? Oh, okay, never mind. Stop, that hit my plant. All right, yeah, you just go over there. All right, so like I said, this is the QB2000. No actual real name to this, just the QB2000 is what they're calling it. Now, this is a new light company, like I said. Or did I say that? I don't know if I said that. This is a new light company, brand new light company, and they reached out to me and said that they're trying to get their feet on the ground, trying to get things going. They built these lights, and they want to know if I can run it. Absolutely, I said. Send it over. I will help you guys out. Let's do it. So here we are. We have, you know, you guys don't need to see that. We have, or maybe you guys do need to see that. What is that? Let's see that. Um, no. Yeah, see, that's even wrong. They have it as the QB1000 that they sent me full spectrum. No, this is a QB2000 that I have here, not the 1000. That's okay. So we'll put that over there. But anyways, comes with a nice little manual here gives you the breakdown of everything now what this is is pretty much just a standard quantum board it's just a it's a giant quantum board is what it is uh, it has a huge thick heat sink and you know what I cannot get this thing out of the box right now one-handed I cannot yeah I'm not gonna be able to yeah hang on hang on Okay, that's not working. That's not working. All right, well, I need to get that thing out of the box so you guys can see the other side of it. But anyways, real quick, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and just post some stuff up on the screen as we're going and yada, yada, yada. But it has a whole bunch of LEDs in it, a whole bunch of diodes in it. I'm not sure the exact number of it. Normally, I have a number for you guys, but I do not have a number of how many LEDs this thing has in it. All I know is that they are Epistar LEDs, and it has a bunch of them in it has a bunch of infrared has deep red and all this other good stuff so pretty much like i said it is a quantum board it's just a basic dual quantum board once once you guys see the other side it's a dual quantum board also has a really cool dimmer on it so you guys can dim it up and down 
long plugs, long extensions. Now I'm not 100% sure if these, this is detachable and mountable outside the grow tent. It may very well be. All cords look pretty long, so you might be able to, but don't hold me to that. Probably not, no. We'll have to see once we get it all hooked up, but it's hard to tell once it's all in the box. Now some of these you can do that, some of these you can't. But since this is one of the like basic lights, now I've used one of these before in the past. Now, since this is like a basic light that I'm pretty familiar with, um, I'm pretty sure that this light is gonna run very, very cool. So I don't think that there's gonna be any need to be mounting that outside of the tent, like some other companies say that you can do with theirs and you can do with theirs you can mount drivers outside of the tent if need be to keep the tents cooler because the drivers themselves do put out quite a bit of heat but anyways i'm sure you guys want to see the under underside of this real quick i'm going to turn off the camera real quick i'll be right back and flip it over so you guys can see this all righty so there she is the osri grow light now this is 220 watts from the wall full power this is an awesome little grow light here you guys look at this thing now it's got a water resistant coating on it like most of the grow lights that come nowadays do has a water resistant coating on it everything is fully sealed up here nice and tight as you guys can see here i mean it's just it's, it's beautiful it looks good looks looks really really good so this light here is actually going to do very very well inside of our 4x4 grow tent. I have no complaints about this light here whatsoever. This is gonna be great. I'm really, really excited about this light. I'll go ahead and flip it back over here real quick for you guys. So that way I don't drop that because it's not propped up there very well. You know, I need a larger room is what I need. I just need a larger room. Now we will get into more details of this light here once we get it hung up, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick the light in general and just kind of go over what we're gonna do with it. Uh, now this light here is I would have to say this light here is more Based for a four foot by two foot grow tent just the way that it's shaped it probably be best To be put in there if you will not a four by four grow tent, but that's what they're saying that you can use it with um, They're saying that it's for uh, three foot by three foot in flower or four foot by four foot in veg Um Okay, but you know the shape of it long wise like that, you know I don't know just seems like it would be best in, in a four four foot by two foot grow tent But maybe that's just me, but we'll see how it goes We'll see how it goes once we get it hung up. Like I said, we got a little bit more time to go It's only day 53 of flower Day 53 not a flower. It's just day 53. I'm sorry of, for these plants here. Jeez. Oh my god So yeah, once these plants here are done day 53 once these plants are done, we'll move that over into there. And then we'll start our next grow. So that light there is perfect for a start to finish grow. It will, it's a full spectrum light. It will do it from seed to harvest. So that's what we're gonna do. New light, clean everything up. PM issues under control, everything looking good. Um, I think that's it for this week, you guys. Hopefully, hopefully I covered everything. I think I did, I, think I did. Auto flowers looking good. Photo period plants looking good. Other ones over there looking good. Boxes in my way. So if you guys are interested in the grow tents, if you guys are interested in the grow lights, if you guys are interested in that grow light, links down below. But alright you guys, that's going to do it for me for this weekend. I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will see you guys next week. Have a good one.